Today's world is driven by media. How do you include video on your site? You can of course use YouTube, which is free, but then you pass along your users' data and send them off to the algorithm after you're done. You can pay for a service like Vimeo, but is it really meant for developers? Or you can use something like Mux, which is the video API for developers. And that's what I wanna talk about today because Astro and Mux just announced a partnership where you get a drag and drop replacement for the HTML5 video player that works perfectly within Astro. Not only that, but you can also upload in Astro using SSR rendering. We can upload using this simple little component, drop in your video, and it uploads automatically. So you own your own content in a customizable video player without sending off your users to the advertisers. Sounds pretty great, right? Well, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how you can win a bunch of free credits to use Mux for a long time for free on your site. So we'll look at how to play a Mux video, how to upload it, all within Astro based on this new integration. You ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Okay, so let's jump straight into the Mux Astro kind of component. You can see here that they have an official partnership and they give you basically two things you can do. One is you can show a video that's hosted on Mux. And the other thing you can do is upload a video. In fact, they've given some example here with Code TV with Jason Langsdorf. So you can check into those if you want to. And that's what I wanna do is follow both of those steps. Now, I've pulled up the docs here for Mux and Astro. This will be everything we need to do. And we're gonna start with learning how to play a video. Now, the very first thing you need is a Mux account. You can create one for free. And if you listen to the end, I'll remind you that you can get free credits as well for your videos. So let's come over here. I'm gonna create a new environment. This should be the page you're, you land on to start with. We'll just call this like, I don't know, test project. And I'll keep it at development. All members is fine and hit create. Now this allows you to then add data directly here. I'm gonna start by just uploading stuff local here. So let's come over here to video. We're gonna look at assets. And here I just wanna upload a local file. So I'm gonna click inside here and here we go. I've got video one. I'm gonna go ahead and just upload this. Just me waving, that will work. I'll click next. I can walk through these different things as well. So you can actually have it process your audio, auto-generate captions, several other things, but I'm just gonna keep it real basic right now and start the upload. And when you do this, you get a, an ID right here. You can see video ID, and I can click inside the asset itself to see a little bit more about it. The thing I want to know about is right here, this public ID. So this public playback URL, this public ID is what I'm gonna to pass to that new Astro component. So we have a Mux account, we've added a video to it. It's now time to get that onto our Astro site. And let's pay attention to this first thing. We're gonna first show a video that's already existing in Mux, which we've got right here. Now, if you need some help with the docs, you can jump over here, but essentially what we need to do is install the actual Mux player. Now, I can grab it from right here, so let's go ahead and do that. And opening up my terminal, I'll shut this down. I can just install that package. Okay, perfect. Let's get everything back up and running. And now I'm gonna come over here and just simply add that Mux component right here. Now again, I can jump to the docs to grab that. Right here, it's the Mux player. And I just installed that package right there. So now what I need is just to grab this Mux player and drop it anywhere. So we'll do this. And I wanna replace this playback ID with the ID I copied, that public ID from the Mux file. So I'll save it there. Let me jump back over this way and you'll see it automatically shows up just like that. I can watch myself uh, wave, I guess. <laughs> and that's number one. So real easy to actually get videos playing. Now obviously this is a custom player here, but if I were to inspect this, if I jump inside here, you'll notice it's actually using an actual video element. Well, this Mux player that has a Mux video in it is just a web component. You can actually see that by seeing these shadow roots right here. But as you see, we've got different items here like the track or the actual video player itself. And we can customize this, this experience basically however we want. If I jump back over here, you'll see that if I click inside here, it'll show me all the docs for this. So I can look at adaptive controls. I can set accent colors for my particular brand. So maybe let's do that next. I can just grab this accent color and you can change the video title, all this kind of stuff. This comes as part of the Mux player. Now here you can see it's using just uh, an HTML component. Here, this is a React component. And this would be more similar to what I would do here in Astro. Although at the end of the day, it'll essentially spit this thing out as we just saw under the hood. So let's go ahead and change um, some things like the accent color right here. And I'll drop this in over here. All right, perfect. Let's come back over here. And you can see that now the accent color is different. It's that orange color. Now, this is honestly just the start of the customization. There's tons more that you can do. Again, you can see all down here, themes, lazy loading, advanced usage, examples, API reference. There's a bunch of stuff in here and you can customize this however you want. You can hide controls. You can show controls, your own controls if you want to. You've got granular control across browsers using a standard HTML, CSS, and JavaScript since this is a web component. So the second thing I wanna talk about is how to actually upload videos. And again, Astro and Mux have partnered up not just to give us a player, but to also give us an actual uploader. Now, if I scroll down here, this Mux video element replaces the HTML5 video element, and you can use the Mux video instead, which again, looks like we saw a moment ago. 
Now, lastly, what I want to talk about is how to install the actual like uploader, right? So let's come down here. I'm going to skip past some of this, but you see what we need is to use this Mux uploader Astro. And we also need to make sure we've added the Mux node as well. In fact, if I come up here, you can see right here, this SDK is what we're going to use. Because we're in a node environment, I need to both add this and then also add the actual uploader. So let's do that. So let's add both Mux node and Mux uploader Astro. Okay, cool. I've got those things set. There's one other thing we do need to do, and that is I need to add an SSR adapter. This uploader posts to the page, and so in order to handle a post route, I need to have some kind of server-side rendering. So let's go ahead and add that, npx, astro add. And here, let's just use the Vercel adapter, although any of the other ones would work here as well. Okay, cool. So I'll add all those. Let's get this thing back up and running. If I come back over here, we're going to need a couple of items. In fact, you can see them here, this mux token ID and the mux token secret. I want to add these inside of a .env file at the base of my project, .env. And the reason we're adding these is because we're going to be uploading to our account. So we need to authenticate ourselves, and that's what these allow us to do. So I'm going to actually grab this right here, and we'll also add this right here. Now, I need to add both of these from my Mux account. We're going to add them in this .env file, and this will allow us to upload things with that special widget that Astro and Mux have given us. So let's jump back over to the actual account. I'll open this up, and if you come over here to the ENV, you're going to see settings, organizations. This is the section we want to be in. So under settings, I want to come over to access tokens, and we're going to create a new token. Let's call this something like test, and I want to make sure it can access Mux video, and I want to write. Okay, so we've got all that set. I'll hit save. These are the two things I need to copy over. Now, I'm showing these to you, but I will delete them before I post the video because I don't want you to have access to my account. So never share these with anyone. And the reason I'm putting them in this .env file is because by default, my git ignore should include the .env file. So I won't even be sending this up to GitHub. This is a quick note that when you actually push to production, you need to make sure you add these to Vercel or Netlify or whomever you're using to actually generate this live on the server so that it has access to this as well. But this should work just fine in development. Okay, so now I've got that. Now what I can do is actually drop in the component and just use it anywhere in my project. So let's scroll back down here to the Mux uploader. This is what we just looked at. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this over right here. And we'll talk through it here in a second. So let's drop this in. You'll see that I'm importing Mux. That's the node package, the SDK we talked about. And then we've got this Mux uploader, which is that nice little Astro component. Now we'll get back to that. But notice that I'm just instantiating a new instance of Mux. You can call this whatever you want. You can call it pizza. It doesn't really matter. But Mux makes sense since that's what we're doing here. And we're using this new thing passing along both the ID and the secret. And by default, it's going to allow for public playback. That's what I would want. The basic quality works, and it's setting cores here as well. Now, as you can see over here, all I have to do is then drop in this simple component, again, probably behind some kind of authentication, unless I'm letting people upload just publicly on my site, which seems unwise, but you do you. I can come down here. Let's call this like uploader just to keep it separate, and I'll drop this in. Now, this upload.url is what we're going to get back here. So let's come over here, and now you'll notice as soon as I refresh, I not only get my video, but I also get a nice little uploader. Now, once again, I can click in here and just upload any video I want. If I click video two and I upload here, you'll notice it actually uploads for me automatically. Now let's come back over here. If I check out my actual assets, we'll see both of these things. We've got video one and video two. This video two should be me saying two. All right, there you go. I guess it's two twice, so that's four. So that means I can come grab this right here and actually use this anywhere on my site but I've uploaded from Astro using a drag and drop Astro component to my Mux account and I've authenticated it as myself. So let's come back over here. We're gonna change this first one out or maybe let's just duplicate it. All right, so I'll drop this down. I'll change out that playback ID and now you'll see I'll get both of these. I get number one and I get number two here. Now, once again, you get all the styling that you would want for this Mux uploader. The default looks pretty good as far as I'm concerned, but again, you can do more if you want. So let's come back over here. You can customize the uploader. Notice how you can actually pass it like an endpoint if you want to do that. You can say whether or not you want to be able to pause it. You can set a max file size. So if you were doing some kind of public upload, you'd probably want that. Or even behind an authenticated section of your site for users, again, you'd want a max file size. The chunk size you want, different styles you want. So you can actually change the progress bar. There's a bunch of other things in this customization guide. And again, I'll leave you to look through all that. And you can see kind of how this could look if you wanted to. I want to talk about one more thing, and that is handling events for the upload. You can see that Mux fires off a bunch of custom events like upload start, success, upload error, and progress. So we can actually use these just in normal JavaScript on the page. So I'll come over here. Let's go ahead and add these here. You'll notice that they all rely on this thing, have an, I, an ID called my uploader. So let's grab this and drop it here. You can obviously name that whatever you want. Uh, where are we at? Right here. Now, all of these items will be fired off one after the other. Now, importantly, what that means is you can listen for the upload. And once it's successful, you can then reach out 
grab the ID and show it on your page. In fact, the way you would do that is right here, right? You take this and drop it in the page. Let's come back over here and just see what it gives us. So I'm gonna refresh the page and let's upload a video. Let's just do video number two again. And I'm gonna open up the dev tools so we can see progress 100% complete. Okay, so we've got everything ready. And then once I get back a successful event, I could reach out to Mux using the Node SDK that we've already got installed. And then I could use the Mux video drop-in replacement for HTML5 video and just drop this in directly. If you're interested in a video on that, let me know because typically this isn't like a normal flow where you'd upload and then let somebody see it right away. This is probably beyond some kind of authenticated route. And then when they would go somewhere else, they would then see that route using the player we've already seen. I hope that was a big help in understanding how to use Mux with Astro. I've used Mux for a long time and it's always been completely rock solid for me. Now, I mentioned that you can get a bunch of free credits and that's based on a fundraiser I'm doing that I want to tell you about now. Lastly, I wanted to mention here that I am doing a fundraiser and you can win free Mux credits because they're a sponsor on my fundraiser for child cancer this month. During September 2025, I have like 37 or 38 prizes to give away, one of which is 500 credits to Mux, which means these credits will last as long as you need them, which means you can use Mux Video Player for free for a long time just by donating some to help eradicate childhood cancer. This year in particular, St. Jude is pushing for global, not only awareness, but resources to go to underdeveloped areas so that kids without ready access to medical care can survive childhood cancer like they've increased the rate in the U.S. 80% of kids now in the U.S. survive childhood cancer in large part because of St. Jude. And now they're in a mission to spread that globally. So what does it mean for you? If you give just $5 and send me your receipt before the end of the month, September 2025, you'll be entered to win a raffle ticket. You can even tell me the ones you don't want to win and limit yourself to mucks. And right now, that means you would win something from mucks. You can see I've had a lot of people donate, but we have a ton to go. In fact, last year we did 3,600. I want to at least surpass that. And I set this super audacious goal of 5,000. You all are always so generous and I can't wait to see what we'll do this year. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.